Hello, hello, happy Friday night. Happy, happy Friday night. How you guys doing? So I will wait because I never know uh, what the delay is. You guys know when I go, hello, hi Joan, how are you? Hi Deb, Kari, hello Dandy, how are we? Oh my gosh, what a night. Like, I seriously, I can't win for losing ever, ever, ever. So I'm here, happy to see you guys. I'm gonna open my bubbly, pineapple bubbly. Hello, Natalie, I was thinking the same thing. I haven't talked to Natalie in a long time, but it's because Vicky runs around constantly like a crazy woman. No one warns you, they, they say terrible twos and, and when your kids are little, but I don't agree. I think teenagers are when they suck up all of your lifeblood. Does your sweater come in black? I, do you love it? And look at, it has the, um, what are these called? I have to think of what kind of sleeve this is. I'm dying, I'm having a hot flash right now too. So, um, poet sleeve or something like that. But I love it, isn't it pretty? And do you like my snowflake, glittery snowflake earrings? Merry Christmas, sh 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 <laughs> I have not been drinking. Merry Christmas, Michelle. That was a lot to get out. That was a lot of mish, 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 mish. So hello, my friends. So um, it's, well, a bell sleeve, right? This is different because a bell sleeve is open usually, right? But this type of sleeve is like this, but closed. And I think it's a poet sleeve or it's something like I only know because I shop when I search those things, embroidered, bell sleeve, puffy sleeve, ruffles, like I just love all that kind of stuff. So um, thank you. I did put it on, but as soon as the camera flips, it's coming off because the stress that I'm feeling tonight, because nothing has gone my way. So I, I want you guys to, even though I get on here and I'm like, let's do all of the things, I have like major craft disasters in my craft room. So you guys are going to get to witness it firsthand tonight because nothing went my way this week and then nothing went my way tonight. So I'm live and I might have to schedule a second live to my third live because um, nothing would work. So we'll talk about it tonight. I'm not sad about it. I just know that here we are. I was going to have all these things done and then I couldn't get the uh, one die to cut at all. They weren't cutting at all. And this, now that I do this and work my way through it, it happened to me last year. And I know that uh, one of them is finicky. So I've set it up. My, my cameo is on pause back here because I am going to press play and let it start again. But um, yeah, you know, like, do you have craft disasters? Let's talk about that. Do you have where... You have the best laid plans. You sit down to do it, and then you're like, nothing goes your way. Well, I want you to to know that um, it happens here too. Oh no, Karen! Karen has the stomach flu. That is not fun at all. And you you take care of little ones, don't you? Did somebody bring it into your house? Because yeah, that's not fun. And Karen, guess what came in the mail today? card you sent me thank you it's beautiful i think it's one of the ones you made with one of your gel plate backgrounds and thank you for the starbucks card i will be putting that to good use this weekend as if my whole life is a disaster that's what patty said and patty and i already talked on the phone and she already knows like i think i've cried three times today so let me share a little fun thing and then maybe some of you guys out there who are um, moms or aunts or have somebody who is young that is turning into adult that's close to you and you can understand this. So I sent, I took a selfie of myself bawling in the car and you're gonna laugh. This isn't like, oh, poor Vicky, you're gonna laugh at me. So my daughter, Devin, um, with COVID, getting her driver's license was pushed back massively because she couldn't get in for driver's ed. And, and um, in Ontario, I don't know if it's everywhere, but here, uh, getting your going to have your driver's test is pushed back months, months. So she had her driver's test today. So that meant is where you'll understand that even though I'm Vicky crafter and Vicky who hangs out with you guys, I'm also Vicky mom, Vicky wife, Vicky daughter, Vicky friend, Vicky, all of the things. And 
um, I tend to want to be like everything for everyone and everything. So if you're like this, you'll know. It's just, I t always, I, I rarely say no to anything. I always say yes. Mom, will you pick me up tonight? I'm going to the club with my friends. Will you come get me at four in the morning and then drive us to McDonald's and drive all my friends home? Yes, I, I will do that. So today I drove Devin to school, came back, did some mail stuff, packed it up, then went and picked Devin up from school, went and got lunch and then took her to practice for her driver's test, which then she went at 2.09 today, nervous as anything, total anxiety for her driver's test. And my mom, because my mother is the, the, the before version of what I am, she never says no either. So Sheila comes, picks me up and we wait in the parking lot for Devin to do her driver's test. And we're chatting about Christmas and the things like I'm going to go run out and get for her later today because, you know, you got to do these things and it's getting crazy out there, busy now. So Dev comes back and she wasn't gone long. And I and I text Rich and I'm like, this could be good things or it could be bad because maybe she did something that was an automatic fail and just turned around and came back. I don't know. So I get out and I'm hiding behind my mom's car because I don't want us to have eye contact that if she didn't get her driver's license that I'd make her cry and then I would cry and whatever. So Devin passed. Devin passed her driver's test today and that's very exciting. And she already took my car to the go, go to the gym and did all the things and she's gone out and she's got a car and she's very happy. But she went home with my mom and then I got into my car to go to finish some of my mom's Christmas shopping. And then I started thinking about it and I have to be careful because I'll start bawling again with you guys. But I'm like, that's there goes my baby, right? Because now I don't have to drive her anywhere. We aren't in that confined spot where she has to talk to me and I'll see, I'll cry. I'm not going to, but big milestone today. Yes, so sorry and my mother we're laughing because even now as i'm doing it i'm laughing at myself because i'm like get a grip vicky but so that is one of like the things that happened today so look i'm embarrassed i didn't mean to do this but you know what i mean when she's locked in the car with me it's like we have our mom and dad i'm sorry what a dork. anyway flipping the camera because now i'm embarrassed okay so let's go to this camera so you guys can't look at me anymore. <clears throat> so that's what happened today. And I think it's anybody who even nieces, nephews, or a younger sibling, it's just, it hit me today that, oh my goodness, you know, like that part of our life has changed today. So a crazy time. So sorry that I'm totally bawling. And then we come home, I get all set up. I'm trying to organize Christmas stuff. And I come down here and I go, I have lots of time to get stuff together, right? Like I can get stuff together. And then um, this is what happened to me. Are you ready? I'll show you. So I start die cutting the leaves because that's really all I need to do if I can just die cut my leaves. And this is what happened to me. I couldn't get them off. I couldn't get it to cut through. And I know I need a special shim, um, but... I didn't have that. And then, uh, then I wasn't ready. Right. I wasn't ready. So then I went and found some, uh, cut files and started cutting it out with the silhouette. And now we'll see if I should have done a double cut or a single cut. And then behind me, I'm going to press start again so that it will finish the second color because now here's where I am tonight may end up being that night where I talk about the houses a little bit more, but I might not be ready to do part three. I might have to schedule it for Sunday. So, right. Those one-on-one -on -one times are special with our children. It's so true, Jill, you know, and I can't think about it too much because now that I've stressed myself out because I was having craft disasters. Now I'm like, Oh my goodness. Now my mindset is all crazy with, added stress today anyway, but, um, it's all good. It's all good. At least I know the cut files will work. I just know that 
um, when you rush through things, because it's craziness. This week has been craziness. Like it always is. I, I can't seem to um, have it slow down, right? It just never slows down. So I'm going to see if these cut through. And if not, I'm just going to have a little chat with you and share the houses that I put together and talk about those. And then um, we might be doing a part 3B, <laughs> right? Your desk look like, looks like mine. Oh, it is, you know, and then I'm a reality crafter. I never try to make, I don't ever want you guys to, to think that um, it's always the uh, highlight reel. You don't get that with me, right? It's, I will show you. So I want to show you today, like what I struggled with and the solution I found. And I want to talk to you guys. If you have, did anybody put any houses together? How did you find that um, went? Are you, um, I see some of you just did your backgrounds and your die. Somebody said their die arrived today and you cut your pieces out. Well, I'm loving what I have so far. I'm loving what I have so far, but I know that on um, top of this, our numbers will be very, um, reduced right now because I can't be the only one who's just trying to get their act together for the holidays. This is the craziest time of the year, I swear. It's the kind of roundup for us that um, that run businesses from home. It's kind of a wrap up. And then on top of it, it's holidays, right? So it's super, super crazy. So you cut some scalloped pieces for the roofs. I love that. Does just watching the process count? Sure does, Natalie. I would love to just watch the process. Can I come to your house? And Rich can do these for a minute, right? I haven't been able to craft all week. Well, for sure, Karen, if you have the stomach flu, um, it is going to be super hard. But I'm going to talk to you about things like I made like a little church. And that was just by cutting... Um, some of the pieces down and then adding them. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about uh, tonight the base and what color, because I think I should paint the base and I think I'm going to end up painting it white. And then I have to decide for the hoop. I don't think I want to paint the hoop white. I might end up painting it green and I'm going to talk to you about the leaves. So yeah, crazy times. Nothing, nothing worked out my way. And then I uh, planned on being a step ahead and I didn't get there. And then the other thing that happened today. So I have been following up multiple times this week. Uh, can I get tracking for the six by eight paper pads for Fernwood? Have they shipped yet? Um, they're being picked. They're shipping. Um, so I followed up again today and I said, did they ship? Can I get tracking number? Cause everything, cause I live in Canada ships to my Buffalo address and then it's couriered over. So I followed up today and they still haven't been shipped. They are in the process. I'm in line, but they're supposed to ship later next week. So for any of you guys signed up for Fernwood, you know what that means? If they ship later next week, which I thought they were going to go out this week, um, that means they're not going to get to me until not next week, the week after, which then they all have to be kitted. So the decision has definitely been made today that they will not ship until um, the beginning of January or if I can get my act together and get my family to help me during like the Christmas break. So I have definitely changed the date for Fernwood to the first weekend in February, which uh, Nat, can you confirm? I think it's February 5th and 6th is the first Saturday and Sunday. And that will just make it so much easier for everybody, right? And then I have done, and I would love feedback, what you guys would like for anybody. I know I, there's a lot of husbands, I'll just tell you, that are messaging me about, like, has the kit shipped? Because I don't think they realize it was a pre-order. So um, I'm doing a pretty little printout that people can wrap to put under the tree. And then um, I will post that on my uh, vickybooten.com on the blog portion. And I'm going to send it out in a newsletter. And I'm also going to post it on all of my social media so that you guys can print that off if you did gift it to somebody. Okay. Uh, like always. Uh, and 
it's there's seriousness with COVID still. I, I bet you we aren't going to be cleared up with this stuff for a year. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I think definitely um, that that's kind of where we're headed. And I, they're all ready. All the kits are ready. Everything's ready to go. But until I get those paper pads, I can't ship it out. So I'm glad that we have lots of time before that class. So um, the only thing I'm sad about is anybody who was hoping to wrap it, to put it under the Christmas tree, is that uh, I don't see that happening. If it's an emergency, you definitely can email me. And I will ship it if I have to on, you know, uh, the week that I get the paper pads, but I'm not sending the mass amount out a year for sure for COVID. See, Jennifer works in the hospital. It's definite, right? Patty was telling me that she heard on the news that here they might put us in lockdown during the holidays again because the COVID numbers are going up like crazy, right? So you think three more years at least. Oh my goodness. I can't even think about it. But you know what? We're going to just deal like we have, right? We're just going to deal like we have, but um, that's where we're at. I know now uh, I put no dates on anything and I just say ships complete, which I did with this one, right? It'll ship when it's complete because there's zero that I can do with any of these things to fix any of this, right? I push everything out so far thinking we'll be good. And then there are so many delays. It's just crazy town. So let's talk about these houses. I have to say, I am absolutely loving the artwork that we created and then making it into these mini houses. And I'm going to talk to you tonight about things that have worked really well and things that I've had to find alternatives because maybe like the adhesive on some of this didn't work so well with the more textured bit. Can you show how you made a two story? I sure can, Robin. So we will make some delicious, um, what, do you, what do we make it? Lemonade out of the lemons I was dealt with tonight. My little nephew is in isolation. One of his friends at school tested positive for COVID. So there goes Christmas get together. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nat. That's super, super, super sad. But I hope that he is healthy. And um, I don't know, like, how is COVID with kids? Like, what kind of illness do they get? I don't know how it affects the little ones. But scary times. So anyway, how's everybody doing? Were there any birthdays this week? There was one special birthday, but I don't know if she's here. Miss uh, Nicole. Now sad, uh, celebrated her birthday. So huge happy birthday to my lovely design team member and friend, Nicole. I adore you, sweet friend, and I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Uh, hi, Jen Backler, how are you? And here's the other thing for you guys that have been following along. No, I've been doing this Gina Libby uh, program. It's a healthful change in my life and a lot of my friends that are on here did it as well and jennifer backler hit it out of the park with like huge weight loss in the 12 weeks my friend patty there's a whole bunch of you and happy that i solidly lost 20 pounds even with the stress that uh i had gained and lost the same five pounds a couple of times i'm at a 20 pound weight loss so that's a huge thing to celebrate right uh, my birthday is on tuesday Happy birthday, Pamela, and your, your twin in heaven. Happy birthday to your sweet twin in heaven as well. So, uh, yeah, that's tough, right? That's tough. So, um, oh, and Dandy's here. How did you do, Dandy? I hope you did okay, too. Um, Dandy was with at Gina Libby with us as well. There's lots of you on here that were. So, um, congrats, friends, now that uh, that has wrapped up. Where this is the final weekend. So congrats. Can't wait for January when we start it again. So anyway, I came um, on live on Tuesday and I showed you how to build the houses. And now one of the requests was, can you show us how to do the two story? So yes, what would you like to see tonight? Seeing now that um, if I press listen to how loud is this? Is this going to drive you guys crazy? Listen. That's really loud, isn't it? Um, Canada has a shortage of maple syrup. How is that even a thing? 
I'm pausing that again. How is that real? Is that a real thing? Maybe I, you want to know why we probably do is because we had the most mild, uh, mild fall ever. So I bet you it didn't get cold enough. So I, I'll have to look that up about the um, maple syrup shortage, but definitely would affect when you don't have uh, uh, super cold and the, the weather that you need to get that sap running. I bet you that's what ended up happening. The shelves are stocked with maple syrup. I promise I just purchased it today. We probably have so much that we could never run out of it, right? Um, Buddy the Elf won't have to worry. He will be very well taken care of. Canada's got his back. How did you end up doing Paula as well? My friend Paula was doing Gina Livy with me as well. I don't want to forget about you. You make your own maple syrup? My friend Leander is here and she uh, posted a picture of her and all of her puppies. It was absolutely adorable. I love it. Uh, worked every time you had a class, so a lot of catching up to do. Well, guess what, Loretta? It totally worked out because I am a total failure today and have nothing ready because nothing went my way. And Karen Napoli, were you at the Penn Center today? I think I drove right past you because there's the other, oh my goodness, Paula lost 30 pounds. Oh my goodness, my friends, my friend, my friend, for sure, not even plural. There's 30 pounds less of you. Congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you way to go it i'm telling you friends if you want the best thing gina livy weight loss check it out we're starting a january group i get nothing for telling you guys about it but um if you want to get healthy it's not even just like if you have weight to lose if you just want to uh feel better totally and you can join from anywhere around the world it's awesome Sorry, I had to have a drink. Angela's down 23. Way to go. That's so good. So good. And who's down 29? Elise. So there were a lot of you guys there with me, right? That you probably didn't chat. So congratulations, friends. It is hard work. So way to go. Every pound loss is a success. So I'm the one feeling a little sorry for myself because the stress got in my way and um I just have to do better next time, right? So, um, okay, let's talk about the thing. So on Tuesday, I created some houses and I showed you how I die cut them. And then I, while I was talking, I had phone conferences this week and then I just kind of glued them all together. So I'll show you the ones that I made a whole bunch, but this is what I was talking about. The textured roofs, roofs, the double-sided tape isn't working so well. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of wet glue to tack those down permanently. But there's a lot of texture on the gold glaze. So I am finding that I'm going to have to use a little bit, um, uh, some adhesive with a little bit more power, right? I drove past you, Karen, when you were pulling in. Uh, so uh, I did see you. I waved. Oh my goodness, and you're down 31, but you gained some on your vacation, but that is excellent, you'll do. You lost 10, hoping to do better in January. Good for you, Karen, good for you. So it works. I just know that uh, I have to find better ways to deal with my stress than to eat at night, because that's what uh, did not work in my favor. So for tonight, like I said, because I'm all over the place, so some of you guys are going to love being here and some of you are going to be like, she is a hot mess and I am a little bit tonight. Um, but that is, like I said, it, it's not the uh, highlight reel. When you guys hang out with me, I don't hide anything, right? I show you all of it. What is the name of the program? It is called Gina, G-I-N-A. Here, I'm going to type it in the comments. G-I-N-A Livy Weight Loss. Oops, sorry, I did some weirdo crap. There, uh, it's this. Gina Livy Weight Loss. And it is, um, you can sign up now. It's 75 Canadian and less in the U.S. for 12 weeks. And you it's the best money you will ever spend. 
best money you will ever spend. Uh, we love how true and real you are, Vicki. Never worry. Just be yourself. Well, Kari, it always is going to be exactly what you get here, right? So both my doctors approved of Gina Livy. I can understand why Leander. So if you aren't interested in this, just give me five minutes and then I'm done with it. So go uh, get yourself a cup of tea, come back. But I just want to share this part. So I have struggled with my weight my entire life since probably grade one. So I have done every diet. I had success with keto. I like a lower carb, uh, lower carb living. It just makes me feel better, but it wasn't sustainable. So my hairdresser told me about this, that her, uh, one of her clients had done it and had great success. And my hairdresser is a thin lady, but has health issues and was looking for something just to clean up her diet. So I went and thought, what do I have to lose with 75 Canadian dollars? You know, what does other programs that I do that you have to pay weekly and what's that all cost me? So I signed up and oh my goodness, I have to tell you, that no one has ever taught me the things that Gina Livy has taught me about how food works, how your body works. Um, just, it's awesome, amazing community, uh, very supported. It is the best thing I've ever done. It is the best $75 you will ever spend. So I just wanna tell you about that. If you feel like it's something you need or you have a family member or somebody you know who's struggling, um, with inflammation or diabetes or things that they really need something to help them with their cholesterol. Uh, this is the best program I'm, I've ever, ever done. So uh, I just wanted you guys to know about it, sharing it with you, because I don't know how long that's going to be open. It will start right at the beginning of January, and I'll be there to support you guys if you need it. So uh, that's all I'm saying about that because I know it's not for everybody, but I have to say it's a very, yes, a mindful way of eating and just a great mind body connection. It really, really good. Okay. So done with that. Not going to talk about it anymore. Okay. Not going to talk about it anymore, but it's great. So anyway, um, so with the craziness, that was my life. My intention tonight was that all of these were going to be cut out. And the dye that I was using didn't work. So I did go, if you search on your Cricut or on your, if you're, you don't have um, the dye or you are looking for other options to create pine boughs and greenery, that's what I searched, pine, greenery, holiday. And I was able to find uh, some cut files that are going to take a little work because they are so delicate to get off my page. But this was what I was planning on doing, the hoop part of the wreath tonight. And now because I haven't cut everything, I'm not doing this tonight. I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the houses. I'm gonna show you how to do a two story and how I manipulated some of the pieces to do um, the two story, and then I'm going to come back on Sunday and I am going to have all of these pieces done. So you guys can either, uh, do it with me on Sunday or watch it later. Right. Uh, but I'm definitely taking my sweater off. Sorry, friends, but I think it's the running around today. I am having an internal fire. <laughs> so I will be coming back and I'm going to do this live with you when I have, and that will give you guys a chance as well. If you haven't done it already to cut, I have a whole bunch of different colors of green cardstock, and I'm going to run every single one of these through my silhouette or your Cricut. And I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of colors so that I can come back. And my plan is, is that I'm going to build the wreath up half way or maybe not even like maybe a third on this wreath, paint the rest, and then do some kind of like berries or something in the middle. So when it goes on the back of my little village, it's going to be attached onto the back, which I'm going to do this with you on Sunday, um, and then do the wreath part. So this probably is going to be, there'll be probably one more for sure, right? One more of uh, these little mini classes. And I'll probably do that like Tuesday again. 
so I can just uh, wrap this up. And the other thing I wanted to share with you, so everybody who's here, this is exciting. Guess what I've decided to do next week? Five days of Vicky giveaways. So I am every day going to post on the, um, I have to decide where I'm going to post it. I might do a couple of giveaways so I can post on Facebook and I can post on Instagram, but I am going to do a uh, kind of a Vicky's favorite things giveaway next week. So every day I am going to have a different giveaway posted, right? You said you use Cricut for the greenery. I use Silhouette. I use Silhouette, Jill, for this. And like I said, I just searched um, this one that you're seeing here is definitely from Silhouette. Well, they all are. They're all from Silhouette. So I just went on and did greenery and searched up pine. And that's how I found them. I It's like about four different cut files, but some of them take a long time. These ones take a long time to cut. And these ones are way faster. And then I just resized everything to four inches or under. Four inches or under. So these, this is our plan, my friends. For sure, we are going to finish this to completion. And now that all my houses are um, cut out and almost made, it's going to be very pretty. I have pulled out and going to show you that I have grit paste snowfall that I'm gonna use for snow with some glitter. And I'm also going to make on either Sunday or Tuesday, we'll make some snow as well out of some different mediums with some glitter. So we're going to be doing that. So we will this week be completing this wreath. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is a, another um, bonus warm wishes class. So I want to talk about that, what you guys would like to see, tags or cards or layouts for that. Um, I would like to do that. And then um, I'm going to do a week of giveaways. So next week will be a whole week of giveaways. There will be two Warm Wishes gift packs. There will be um, some of my stencils, like a whole the whole set of my uh, exclusive stencils with some mediums. I have a jewelry giveaway. I have a whole, whole bunch of stuff that is coming and it's going to be so much fun, right? That would be a fun thing. Look at what Catherine said is tags and we could make a tag book. That would be a lot of fun. So for my friends who like layouts, guess what? Tags could be for those who don't use photo centric things, but then we could also do them with photos on it. So I think I like that idea that we could do a tag book, right friends? And then you could use the tags on the layout if you wanted to. So I'll give you options, but I think it'll be fun, but I really want to wrap up this year with giveaways to give back to all of you guys for um, all of your support. It really means a ton. And then I would also love to um, do another uh, just bonus class. And then I'm taking some time off because I might pop in for, I would like to during the holidays to pop in for a cocktail hour and cocktail could be tea, diet, Coke, a cup of milk, a glass of wine, whatever you want, and just have a chat and talk about um, your holidays and what your plans are for next year and what you'd love to see from me for next year. And then um, I would love to uh, just visit with you guys, but I definitely know I need to take a break. I really need some downtime because I don't think I've had any this year. Mimosas would be awesome, Miriam. I love that. So I might have like, I might post on our group uh, my peach Bellini recipe and I might make up some of those, but I think it would be great just to have chat time. So super fun right? Uh, but for the free class, isn't going to be anything big, like a whole Rolodex class, because uh, that takes a lot of time and planning, right? But I think that it would be a lot of fun to do something warm wishes based, because I think a lot of you still have a lot of it left. And then some giveaways, and we'll wrap up with this. And oh, when we do the warm wishes, I'm going to mix it with Tim Holtz. So if you guys have Tim Holtz from years past or this year, I am going to be mixing 
warm wishes and Tim Holtz for my um, little uh, bonus class that I think will be next Sunday. I think Sundays work because then I can do it in the afternoon. And then, um, so that's there. Our plans are made. Our holiday plans are made. Are you ready for this? This week, we are going to do a bonus on Sunday in the afternoon. I'm going to come on right now tentatively at 3 p.m. in the afternoon on Sunday. And we're going to get another chunk of this um, house wreath done. And then on Tuesday, we're going to wrap it up at, uh, let's say, 7 p.m. on Tuesday. And then we are going to do a bonus class that I might even throw a layout and some tags together. And then look, if you're a card maker, you can make any of that stuff into cards as well using, uh, and that'll be next Sunday. The following Sunday will be our Christmas wrap up and I'll do a giveaway live that day as well. We'll figure out some way to do that. And um, we are going to have a bonus Christmas class using warm wishes and Tim Holtz. And that will be what Sunday is that? What's the date for that, Natalie? Yes, the tree cut files from warm wishes class. Yes, we'll add them that day, Shannon, for our wrap up. I will do the the um, tree cut file because I shared all the free cut files. Yes, we will add it to the tag class. Shannon's talking about these. The tree, the snowflake, that will be part of that day, okay? And next Friday, we'll do prep work for these. How about that? So we'll post that because that's a lot. I just shared a lot of information. So here we go. To recap, this Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, I am going to be doing um, the the um, greenery portion of this leaf and the basic assembly with the snow is all going to be done this Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time on um, Facebook and YouTube. On Tuesday will be the full wrap up of the final assembly of this project, this Rainbow House Christmas wreath hula hoop um, diorama class. And then on Friday, we're going to do prep work with the cut files for six by eight pages or to use as tags. And then next Sunday, the 19th at 3 p.m. will be our holiday wrap up party where I am going to use warm wishes. Some of these die cuts that we prepped on Friday and uh, Tim Holtz, all of my stash of Tim Holtz to create a whole bunch of fun. Right. So and all of these uh, templates were shared, I think, on Tuesday. I think it was on Tuesday or, or on Sunday, on Sunday on YouTube. All of these were shared. If you were in my class, you guys all have them already anyway. All right. But I will post all of that somewhere. I'll post it so that you guys can find them as well. These were created by the birthday girl, Nicole Noah so uh, you can find them. Maybe I'll even post them on vickybooten.com. So it just makes it easier. So that's my plan. I'm going to post these this weekend on vickybooten.com, all the free, new free Christmas cut files. Okay. And then this week as well, every day is going to be a different giveaway. There's going to be five days of holiday giving of Vicky's favorite things. So that's going to include candy and um my product lines and it could include older pro older of my product line like maybe something from each one but there will be five days of holiday giving so make sure that you check that out i will probably post it on facebook and instagram every day so guess what that's going to be 10 giveaways next week 10 giveaways next week for my five days of holiday giveaways so you're going to want to make sure that you are following Vicky Booten artist page on Facebook and that you are um, following me on Instagram at Vicky Booten. And for all of you that have already joined the Vicky Booten creative community group, there will be a bonus giveaway for you guys somewhere next week as well. It's 
going to be Christmas all over here. Okay, yay. All right. So let's talk about what we can do tonight. Because my lovely friend Robin said, Vicki, can you show me how you made a two-story house? And I said, Robin, of course I can. So like I was saying, you guys might come across this, right? Where the roof is not sticking so well to double-sided tape, which is then where I will pull out either my glue gun or I will put a little bit of wet adhesive to back it up. And the double-sided tape will work really well to hold it in place while the glue sets. All right. So very exciting. If you got some of these done, they turned out beautifully with the gold. And look at with the silver roof that looks like brushed metal. Right. Very fun. All the different patterns turned out really cute. And then when we go to do final assembly, I have this. These are little mini um, trees from Tim Holtz that I also am going to show you on Sunday how I'm going to color them with some distress spray stain. I have right now rustic wilderness and I'm going to probably mix some salvage patina and do these two colors to spray these. And I'm going to show you the idea I had for um, spraying them. I, I came up with something and it's probably not new, but I will show you. Can I show you how I did the church? Yes, because it'll be the same idea, right? The same idea as how I did this one, just different shapes. So guess what? I might have to cut one more piece because I did cut. I have to trim them because I cut it with a different mat and they didn't cut through so well. So I do have two pieces here because I wanted to do a mansion because I felt like there needs to be one big house in the or building in the middle of town. So I'm going to show you this idea and um, let's see how it's going to work because I was thinking that it could have a flat roof instead of a peaked roof. And then we'll do a second one as well. Oh, look it. I'm going to show you how to do a side building tonight with these ones. And then I will cut another piece, another set, so that we can do, um, is, do we have a preference? If I sh show everybody the church, I think um, it will work, right? So let's do the thing. So anybody who wants to play along tonight, I am just going to show you how I built the houses again. And then I can show you how to do two-story. The other thing in hindsight, if you haven't finished, all mine are going to be open, but it would be very pretty. You could put uh, tissue paper behind the windows to make it look like stained glass, especially in the church. Wouldn't that be awesome? We, why don't we do that tonight? Why don't I make something with some stained glass? So let's kind of salvage what was not a planned. This was not a properly planned Friday Night Live because... It was a little bit of a National Lampoon's Friday night for me. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. And then I'm like, okay, just go with it, Vicky, because I could have just said, that's it. <laughs> Canceling tonight, because really, I'm not going to lie. It was not far from my mind because everything that could go wrong went wrong tonight. But you got to laugh at it, right? I already cried in front of you tonight when I told you my story about Devin. <laughs> Ding that. What is wrong with me, right? So I have my stamp block just because it has straight edges or you can use your ruler. And then I just go in because Tim Holtz taught me and I'm sure there was somebody else that taught us all somewhere along the line that just find your straight edge and it makes it easier to fold on your seam lines. You can also take a ball burnisher and burnish. Oops those lines just to help with your fold okay now i don't find um it's too bad with the foundations paper and i ran it through a few times and they fold pretty well so i decided to make the red of the patterns the bigger kind of centerpiece because it's christmas and uh, red is definitely a traditional holiday color right stained glass windows do you think that would be fun robin so we could totally do that and we'll do a church tonight so um we will salvage what we can from this evening so anything you'd like to see 
housewise uh, share that with me now and that's what I'm gonna do tonight and then I'm gonna prep over the weekend after I clean my house and do some things around here so I'm all ready for Sunday so I will represent on Sunday so that one's ready to go that side now um, what my intention was actually with the two-story is let me show you what I was thinking would be a good idea so let's see what if we did this one a flat roof and then a second story that just gets glued on top so with that I just folded all those pieces down but my thought was that um, this is how I did the one is I just kind of stacked it together like this right well let's just do it and I'm gonna cut this part the peaked part of the house off don't cut this part but just the peaked part of the house off okay so that it can be the bottom story of my layered house so i'm building a new house with you one that i haven't done yet okay and i'm going to do the same thing here and we're going to build the base of the house I so wish you guys could all come over for a holiday party. Wouldn't that be fun? But yes, I think stained glass windows would be fun if we do that in the church. Or you could even do it in your mansion, the house in the middle of town, right? You can have a whole story with who lives in these houses. Have you watched on Netflix? I watched a movie yesterday called... Christmas boy or I don't know Santa boy or something I thoroughly enjoyed it I love anything like there's were little elves and stuff in it it was a very delightful movie but I don't remember what the name was but I'm sure somebody out there is going to tell me ding dong this is what the name was it wasn't Christmas boy <laughs> not Whoville thank you Janet so see, so this is going to be the bottom story. So what we'll do is just attach it where we can. And then this is gonna be our top story for this house. Uh, double side tape. A Boy Named Christmas. Thank you, Leander. It was awesome. I freaking loved it. I love, what's her name, Maggie? Is it Maggie Smith? She was in um, another movie that I love that I just re forgot the name of. I wanted to say Mrs. Doubtfire. Love that one too, but that's not what it is. Um, where it's like the part two she is in. Where the lady, when the kids are bad and she comes to take care of the kids and, and uh, as they start behaving themselves and do the things they're supposed to learn, her warts go away and stuff. What is that one? Oh, you watched Elves and it was not delightful. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, I started watching that too and had to stop watching it because I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to be pretty scared. So that made me laugh right out loud. That was almost as good as Stinker Claus. Nanny McPhee, thank you. That is one of my all-time favorite movies. So what is her name? Is her name um, Nanny? Mc oh, I love Mary Poppins too. Nanny McPhee, one and two, and the second one, Maggie Smith, I think, is the lady's name, and she ends up where she is the uh, the um, loveless girl when she's all grown up, right? Oh, I love Nanny Mc. I have to watch that again. I haven't watched it in a long time. I need to have a movie night. So here's my bottom story for the red house. Should do you guys want some kind of windows in this? Because I should be, I should be, I should be doing this before I start layering anything else in there. So let's talk about what you would need to do your stained glass windows. Tissue paper, so you can pick whatever color tissue paper you like. Um, and if you do put any of the tiny lights in the in your um, 
uh, in your village, then these would shine and it would be really, really pretty. Uh, and the other thing you're going to need is uh, matte medium. Okay, so I will find my jar of matte medium and I'm going to get some tissue paper. And in this one, we can put some little uh, windows. I just have to see if I have any tissue down here or not. I'm hoping I do. I'm hoping I do. I have tissue, but guess what color it is? Oh, oh. fun times, Vicki. You hear all that stuff falling? Yep, that's what just happened. Nobody should be surprised by that in the least. That Vicky's dropping stuff on the floor. Right? <laughs> Don't be surprised by the least. Maggie Smith. Yeah, she was in Haiti Harry Potter too. Is she Mrs. McGonagall? Was that Maggie Smith? Okay, so I have craft, but guess what I can do to color it? A little bit of distress ink. And what colors do I want in this window? I want something that's gonna show up. I'm gonna I'm gonna get crazy. You're not even gonna believe this. But I'm gonna do purple. Oh my goodness, right? Are you shocked that Vicky's gonna do purple windows? Purple. What other color could we do? Blue. Could have blue windows too. So obviously friends, I'm just out of necessity grabbing what I have here. You could definitely use just colored tissue. You don't have to put any kind of ink on it. But I would have had to run up and get stuff and I don't want to have to leave. So I'm using what I have. How are we doing? I wasn't falling over that there. Stuff was falling off when I grabbed it. I dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the floor because I am living in chaos currently. That's pretty much what I feel like. That's when I say, like, I need a break to just get my life in order is not far from the truth. So now, so we can take, like, you could have done this when it was flat and it'd be a lot easier. So we'll do that. I'm going to show you two different things, right? Because we can do them here. So we can decide blue windows, purple windows, pink windows, yellow, orange, whatever you want, right? I'm going to go with the blue, I think. And I think the more crinkled it is, the better. So let's take that little piece. Yeah, and if you use tiny lights behind this would be amazing. Right, and then I'm just going to put a little piece here. And then, like, you can't see it. I'm looking at it, and when the light's shining through, it's very pretty. And I'm going to take some acrylic medium. I'm still laughing. You guys all thought I fell down. And now I just dropped stuff. When I grabbed the tissue paper, it knocked something else down because I haven't really got a chance to clean up much around here. Let's just kind of put that in there like that. And then I'll put this on here like this. Put a little bit more on here. So this is matte acrylic gel, but you might have a different medium that's similar that you can use. Whatever you have will work. You could use white glue really if that's all you have. And I'm going to put that on. This will dry, but it will also help adhere my house. And then I'm also going to clean up the mess I just made right there. 
because this is right distress ink on here so be careful um, because the ink will transfer Vicky's looking for a paper towel I'm grabbing dirty one out of the garbage Vicky, you're having trouble. There we go. Very nice. See? Some little blue windows. It will dry clear. I'm setting that up just to dry a bit. And we need another piece. And this one, because I already built the house, I'm just going to add it in from behind. So I just added some glue in. There we go. And let's get two little strips. can put one in on this side much easier to do it before you have your house assembled FYI okay. there is one side dirty paper towels work <laughs> you grab what you can right packing my bags now where are you going April did I miss that where are you where are you going what else is going on out there? What are you guys working on? Because I know some of you aren't doing this right now. You're not prepped for it. Some of you um, might just be hanging out because you just like to hang out with me. And sometimes you work on Friday Night Lives along with me. And sometimes you do not. Right? Because I know there is a good mix out there of people who play along. Are you playing along? Irene made some beautiful houses that she posted this week. And then I saw a lot of other people had started prepping their stuff. Because I know this is busy time for everybody, right? Not everybody can be crafting. Getting over migraine, that's never fun. Would alcohol drops on vellum paper work? Sure, it should. It, their alcohol um, ink should work. You're not trying to do any kind of funky technique with it. Um, sure, try it. It's just tissue paper, right? So you should be fine. Oops, look at me, I'm pressing and I'm gluing my um, house right to the thing. Didn't go. There we go. So there is my second window, set of windows. Oh. There. Okay. And let's build this house. I'm gonna trim the sides off, clean my brush. Clean off the overhang. It is very wet right now because I put all of that um, wet medium on the back. So you just got to be careful. And I will start. Prepping that. I really need to either grab my heat gun or probably let that dry a little bit. But if I can just get the edges, then we aren't messing around with it as much. I'm prepped but haven't cut anything out. Catching up on December daily, very nice. Working on my advent calendar yarn scarf and watching your brilliance in action. That's exciting. What is an advent calendar yarn scarf i need to understand what that is i'm playing painting my base white and prepping the oh 
Positania flowers. Very nice. Never had one before. Um, oh, a migraine. Yeah, that's they're not fun. That's not fun at all. I was thinking you were talking about an advent calendar scarf at first. Um, and then I wasn't sure why, why you wanted to die. And then I understood it was your headache. Finishing dinner, then going to study for a marketing class final tomorrow. Good luck, Sarah. Good luck. Devin has been writing exams. Riley's coming home. He has one tomorrow morning, which I do not understand why these kids have to write exams on a Saturday. The best was on our Thanksgiving weekend, the kid had an exam on the Saturday. And I'm like, really? Why on a holiday weekend does he have an exam? Like, why of all the days in the middle of a Saturday does he have an exam? But I don't know. There's got to be a reason for it. I'm just not sure what it is. But yeah, not fun. So he is at his work Christmas party tonight and then he has to come home and study so not fun at all I finished my recycled open snow globe idea I love that advent calendar every day there's a yarn piece or surprise to open to create a knitted scarf that is so much fun your son had an exam on Sunday why is that Natalie please someone explain that to me I don't understand why they have to write an exam on the weekend. Why can't it be during the week? But like I said, I'm sure there's a reason for it. What's wrong with Joan? Spent two days in ICU from passing out into a porcelain. Oh my goodness, Joan. Tile and knocked yourself out. Oh my goodness, did they figure out why you passed out? I'm glad your husband was home too. You're knitting an advent calendar scarf for your husband, Julie. I love that. Sadly, I'm in bed. I pushed my ankle too hard today. Yes, you had surgery, didn't you? Well, you rest up because uh, you need to take care of yourself, right? Drink lots of water, take care of yourself. I went to the pharmacist today because I don't know anybody else who, if they have any eczema flare-ups but when the um, heat goes on in my house it's all over I'm going to end up getting some eczema on my face and that's why if you've noticed I have not had makeup on for the last couple oh what a mess the sticky craft mat makes for the last couple of lives because uh it is really bad and today it flared up and it hurt and it was itchy so I had to go and get something and one application fixed me right up so I should not have waited a month before I went and took care of it right that is very exciting right not enough classroom space for Monday to Friday yeah I guess so but like uh, Got a haircut for the first time in two years. Oh my goodness. Didn't that feel good? All this, see, I'm missing the chatter. So I apologize if I've missed your conversation. Oh, you can schedule yours your own time. Yeah, I love it. But I get that. Uh, that totally makes sense right when um i guess you're writing it on your own that you can choose when you want to do it right okay so what i'm doing here but struggling a little bit because um i this isn't dry right so what's happening is every time i go to fold over the scored bit it's sticking to my stamp block but I think it's better now. I left it for a minute to dry. Okay, let's try that. 
It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this part of the house together. Is anybody gluing some hoses together with me? Where did, there it is, tape. I know people are dropping off like crazy because I'm sure for some of you, this is a little bit on the boring side tonight. It will be better on Sunday, I promise. If you guys, and you don't have to join me live, you can watch it after the fact. But if you're crafting or folding laundry or something on Sunday and you just want to hang out, I will be happy to have you. So I've taken the double side tape. I am building this as a second layer or second story to my two story house. Now, this one has a flat roof. So I'm going to have to show you two different applications of how to build these, but we'll do the church next, okay? And then the other thing I wanted to do is for the pink house, I want to add a side, like a almost not a turret because it's not round, but a, a taller bit that goes on the side of the house. So all you'd have to do for that one is just cut a notch out in the roof line so you could adhere them side by side. So I can show you that one too if you want, because I'm just going to sit here and make it. So um, if you uh, want to stick around and watch, you can. If you want to check it out later because you're tired, because you had a headache or have been sick this week, or you're studying for an exam, whatever you need to do. Okay, so I have now my top story and my bottom story. So I'm gonna make a two story, but I'm going to make the bottom one with a flat roof and the top with a peaked roof. So let's see what we have here that would work. That is going to be my bottom roof. I'm gonna put the gold on the bottom piece here and then layer this piece on top and then give it a peaked roof, okay? So we could also, I'm gonna show you, I, this is a thought. So I could put this piece on and I could slant the sides down a little bit if I want to. I would just, could slant the sides down, we'll decide. But I'm gonna put adhesive here and around the sides of the house and then just glue my roof on. So just make sure because mine's a little wet, right? From doing the um, the windows that I just want it to be kind of square. And I'm gonna put some of the connect glue. You had your booster yesterday and your arms a little sore, but feeling okay, that's great news. Angie was putting clean sheets on her bed and that's like a workout. It most certainly is those fitted sheets. Um, I like rich will, we'll do that together. Right. But then I always want to be for the, the third, I like to get my third corner on before he has to pull the fourth corner down because that's the hardest part is that last corner on your fitted sheets. So I try to make sure I've got my fourth or third corner on before Rich is pulling the fourth corner on. <laughs> Cause I'm like, let him be the one to wrestle with the hard part. So I'm gonna put this flat piece down for my first story. Okay. And the glue will dry clear. Let me move it over a bit though. I'm just going to hold it for a second and take my ball burnisher that I lost. There it is. Make sure that's in contact. And you can clean up the edges if you want to, but it will dry clear. And just don't mess with it too much. Just till the glue sets up, right? Do you do the same, Karen? Does Frank help you and you want to make sure when you get to that fourth corner that you got to rush? I rush, so I make sure I got the third corner on. And then he has to do the fourth corner. 
I'm like, you're the one with the big muscles. So funny. Yeah, I'll always be like, come and help me put the sheets on. But no one in my house, like it's weird. None of us are, have gone. It, I always had a fitted sheet and the loose, what do you call the non-fitted sheet, whatever that one is, where we would um, always had them on our bed. And now the kids don't only fitted sheet and uh, they sleep with blankets or wash their duvet cover. No one in this house anymore has the uh, sheet on the second sheet on their bed. It's crazy. We just wash. We have two duvet covers on our bed, and I just wash my duvet cover. Flat sheet. Thank you. I totally top sheet. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the second one was called. Totally makes sense, but totally had a brain fart. Um, yeah, so nobody in the house sleeps with one anymore. So when I was shopping for the kids, I liked it at Christmas, always buy them a new set of sheets. I'm sure it's their favorite gift um, that we, I'm just going to go and buy a fitted sheet and pillowcases because there's no sense. Anybody else like that? So always have the fitted sheet and the top sheet or flat sheet. You make a duvet cover out of flat sheets. Yeah, I just have my duvet cover. And then um, we take that off and wash it every time. But crazy, because we always had, and I love it when I'm in a hotel, but I don't know. You love your top sheet. Yep, I do. Because I, And I'm, I don't know what you guys are like. I always laugh because I would room with my friend Angie and my friend Nicole when we teach at events and both of them pull all their sheets under their bed and I almost have a heart attack because I am the kind that um, all my sheets have to be tight and I like my top sheet to be tucked in tight on my feet. Can you, can your gold or silver glaze be in the giveaway? They, there will be, I will be giving my mediums away. So uh, most definitely, and I will probably, because I'm going to be shipping, have at least a couple days where I restock my store with some different mediums because um, I will ship next week. And then, like I said, I'm taking a break. So uh, that will be it. And then I have to figure out how to put my um, shop on vacation for a little bit or I'll just post something that nothing will be shipping out right away so people can place orders but lots of uh friends out there lots of gift certificate sales in my shop so your husband's sons daughters have been listening friends there have been a lot of gift certificate sales which is super helpful, right? Because we talked about, and I haven't had a chance to work on it, uh, the gel plate part two class. I found out that my next collection, which some of you have got a peek at, which I'm not at privy to talk about. So I'm not gonna mention what it's called or what it looks like, but some of you are like, I know what she's talking about. Um, I found out will be well, they'll start selling it, but I don't know. I never trust when it's shipping, right? We've learned that lesson um, in the new year as well. So we'll be looking at that one. Okay, let's center my roof. So look, I like the little stained glass windows. That is super fun. And I don't mind them in blue. And just imagine, I don't have a, like a little flashlight, but if you had a light they would be uh, really fun. It would be really fun um, with the little tiny lights. I have them. I've bought them because I buy everything Tim tells me I need to have two or three. And I don't know what you guys are like, but I often will come home and realize that I have bought multiples of everything. Like, oh, I ordered that twice. So I have this one. Now, I think 
do you think I should just curve the side of the eaves down here a little bit? I wish I would have done a small building too, because look at this could have been cool with the small building on the side. Like we could make this and this could be a really cool gingerbread house. Like I could have put one more piece on here if we wanted to, but we're just going to leave it. You could also cut part of this off so it's not as tall, but I'm just going to go with it, right? It can be a little freaky house in the village. Yes, but I don't want to share that, right? Um, because we're not allowed. I'm not allowed. Paige isn't allowed. None of us are allowed to talk about it, even though it's been posted there. And like I said, I work really hard to get these um, collections done. And it kind of takes the um, fun away when I can't do the build up to the sharing with you guys. So I'm not talking about it until I'm allowed to talk about it. And we'll do our normal, like, um, when we do the release and share all of the stuff. Because it, it's no fun. Kind of takes all the fun away, right? So um, if you posted it on my artist page, I just deleted it because I can't talk about it anyway. I'm not mad that anybody posted, so don't think that I was upset. But when we were told we're not allowed to talk about it or share any of it, I just went, okay. I will just wait and we will make it fun like we always do when it finally comes out. So I am just putting this down here. Yeah, I've never seen that happen. I don't know what the thought was because then I understand that it will not be in Joanne's store until many months from now. So you guys saw it, but then... You're not going to be shopping for it for a while. It's not going to be uh, set up for a while. So best not to stir the pot, right? Well, hi, Poppy. How are you? And gang, just jumped in during my lunch break to have a look at what's going on. Hello. What are you having for lunch, Poppy, in Australia? Poppy. Was it you? Who sent me the the dogs, the cartoon, the blue? Was it you, Poppy? Somebody's husband reached out to me, and I owe them an email, and I don't remember who it was. This kind of looks a little Japanese, doesn't it? <laughs> Our Japanese house in the middle of uh, our village. But I like that. There's a different little two-story. And if you don't want to do the flat roof, you totally could have done a peak on the roof. But now to make it fun, let's put, let's see what the awning over the door looks like. We could do that. And we could do a second one up here. just to make it a little bit more interesting. Do we like that? We could cut them shorter and do two over little gables over the windows. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know if there's enough space for it, but we'll try. Thanks for sticking around with me, friends. Like I said, um, we will put this all together on Sunday. And, you know, uh, one of the ladies did the Christmas wreath from, wreath from last year and said it was about 20 hours of work. And it's no word of a lie. These houses are tiny and um, require a little bit of time. Do we like that? With the little double eyebrows? Looks surprised. Do you like my surprise house? So I think I'll add that on there because what do I have to lose? I don't know. Do we want those up here? What if we did a flat one? Like this. No. Then he looks angry. <laughs> uh, but I will put one over the door because this definitely looks like it's Japanese inspired architecture. Right? This little thing in the village 
is Japanese inspired architecture with a flat roof. Maybe it's my, uh, uh, also could be, well, I don't know if it would be a Frank Lloyd Wright house, but it's a little different, this one in the village. Okay, we'll let that set up. And then I will get my die cut machine and let's build a church. That's fun. And don't forget, we're going to put some snow and some fun things on here. But I do want, when you're putting all the houses together, we need some height differences, right? Because if they're all the same, um, I don't think you'll see the ones in the back. So there is a little, with the little tinted windows, is very cute, right? And the only one, I could put colored windows on all of them, but well, I could actually lift the roof off and I might put different colors. Like in this one, put little red windows, but uh, this was my other two story. So you see the back, I just left flat because nobody's going to see it anyway. And then I'm going to show you how I traced it to do the um, two story with the church. But I am going to show you as this one is setting up. Let's do one with a little side building as well. And we could totally put uh, colored windows in this one as well if we wanted to, right? Little purple windows, right? I think it would be a lot more fun if your tissue paper was white. But I... It's not like when you're crafting on your own, right? I'd have to have left you guys to run upstairs to get all my tissue papers upstairs. It's not here. I love this. I find this is really, really relaxing, friends. So if you have these dies, even though I might have just scared you away when I said how much time it takes, I do think it's worth it. Like my friend Angie out there loves to build Lego, which I love Lego too. And she has a whole bunch of little houses in her craft room. What did you just build? Did you build some Christmas ones, Ange? Do you have like a Christmas village that you put out during Christmas? Um, I find that is the most relaxing thing ever. Like, I think that's another version of putting a puzzle together, right? If you like to build Lego. I absolutely love Lego. Vellum would be awesome. Evelyn. Um, wax paper, Kleenex. Yes, you totally could use uh, Kleenex. Whatever you want to do, um, it, it will be beautiful. But uh, you could use all different kinds of things. It just has to have some transparency to it, right? Yes, I love the vellum idea. And especially with uh, Tim's houses that are a little bit bigger. This is a set that came out. I need to build my typewriter next. You have a Lego typewriter. How much fun is that? I love it, Ange. Whoop. Okay, so let's just do, I'm gonna build the, this house and then the tall side building. And then I will show you, we'll cut a piece out of the roof so we can put it right beside it. Is everybody done their Christmas uh, shopping? And if you are like me, you would go upstairs and see something else that leads you to another place and we would be waiting for you to come back and we would still be waiting for you. 100% Carol. Is that how you roll too? How do you know me so well, Carol? Yes, I would go, oh, look, the dishes need to be done because it's never ending. I think I want to come back in my next life as a cat or a much loved family pet that I could just, oh, color transparencies would be awesome on the windows. I love it. All great ideas, friends. Um, I would like to come back as a well-loved family pet that gets to just lay around and eat treats. That's what I would like in my next life. Hi, honey. How are you? Professional golfer. 
that's rich is coming back in his next life as a professional golfer and i'll be his <laughs> no i don't want to be your caddy see he just made me work more did you see that uh good night pamela we'll see you later oh my goodness my husband i just said i want to come back as a family pet so i can relax and he told me i could come back and be uh a caddy to his professional golfer Do you hear him? All I need to do is push the cart. Push your own cart. <laughs> that is funny. I'm like, woohoo, I want to relax. Use the paper towel that you have mixed. Like, oh, yes, you could totally do that, Mary. I love that. Use a paper towel that um, we cleaned up our colors with for your windows. Oh my goodness. You could totally do that. Couldn't you, Irene? Are you still here, Irene? Are you working away like me? Use vellum on the windows and color it with a yellow marker. Yes, that'd be beautiful for a window glow. I love that, Lorraine. Oh, don't say uh, the treat word. We spell that around here. Oh yeah, Robin. Um, one of your uh, puppies heard me and they're like oh my goodness yes i need that right now i need a t-r-e-a-t -T. irene are you building because i loved your houses with a scallop roof very very cool okay so let's finish my oops i guess i should put if i'm going to put tissue in it let's do it now Let's do it now. That's funny. Yes, for sure. I'm coming back as Robin's pet because I think Robin would take very good care of me. <laughs> if we want to mail you a Christmas card, how do we find your address? It's on my website. But if you message me, I would send it to you too. But I would love that. Thank you. I, um, oh, and I got something in the mail this week too that I need to share info on. I have to go find it. But Rich and I, absolutely, it's something that some of our friends out there are starting a business. And they did something with one of my cut files that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, that was my idea. That was Rich's idea. He said it was his idea to make those. No, not to make them. Oh, we didn't talk about that yet, Rich. You just don't share your ideas. I was just talking about getting that I'm getting Christmas cards in the mail and absolutely loving them. I love it. I love, love, love that. I don't send any, but I love receiving them. And then I had a surprise from Karen because she added a Starbucks card because she knows me too well. That is my thing that I like to do when I get to, oh, I can't even talk about that. When I used to get to pick Devin up at school, but now she's not going to want anything to do with me because she has a driver's license. <laughs> I'm going to have to be rich as caddy. See what's going to happen to me? Just mailed out a ton of them. I love it. I have about 150 pairs of vintage Barbie shoes. Where would you suggest to sell them? I don't know. eBay? I wish they were uh, my size vintage Barbie shoes in a size 10. Look at Rich. Yeah, coming in here. keeps. I'm coming back as my husband's cat. I'm coming back as Robin's dog, Pixie. Hi, Pixie. Yeah, that's what I'm doing because I think that Robin's dog Am I wrong, Robin, is spoiled. I bet Pixie is quite spoiled because I know Robin spoils me, so I can only imagine what she does to her beloved family pet. I love it. I hope I have a roof for this one. I don't, did I cut a roof out for this one? 
I might not have, so I might have to do that. Yep, we're going to have to do that. So we'll get these parts together. And then um, when I cut my pieces for the church, we will, because, I, was it Jill? Jill wanted the church. But what my idea is for this one, right, is that this is going to be part of the building beside it. Almost town hall. This will be town hall. And then we just have to cut a notch out for the roof. Her ears are twitching. And yes, she's very spoiled. Is your Barbie tree up? It is not, Julie. I don't think Barbie's going to make it up this year. And that just shows you how crazy busy my life is. And it makes me super sad. But I still haven't cleaned up down here. So I can't even imagine putting uh, my Christmas tree up. Devon will always need you. Well, she'll always need me. But I like... Um, our car rides. So I'm going to tell her she can't drive to school every day that I, her mother still needs to bring her sometimes because uh, I like it. I like it. And I'm also happy that she has her license because it makes my life very busy. You know what I mean? Having to run a business and be a chauffeur but uh, I find that the best time to talk to your kids is when they're stuck in the car with you. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. Especially nowadays that um, they're so wired in on their electronics, right? That I like our car rides because, one, I slow down too because I work a lot. You know what I mean? So it's nice that both of us are in the car. Um paying attention to one another. It's very nice. So let's do the side of the house and then I'm going to make a church. I'm going to be here for a while so you guys can like play along or you um, can watch again later. But I am promising you because on the weekend is so much easier for me that everything will be prepped and ready to go on Sunday. So it will not be, you don't have to be here for a long time. It'll just be what, how long it takes me to actually put the pieces together. But uh, like I said, this is not for the faint of heart, but it's going to be worth it. After I built the houses that are laying all over the desk, I was like, oh my goodness, this one is going to be as pretty as last year's, but like different. You know, last year was a neutral the neutral wreath, but this one I love because it can sit on a tabletop. And it is going to sit in my craft room. It's my little elf village. I still need to make a church with a steeple too. Yes, I'm going to do that one next. But yes, I'm really sad. Does auto insur insurance cost a ton in Canada when you add a kid driver? It's so high here in Portland. It's high everywhere. And yes, it is. And we have two kid drivers. Um, but, you know, we had them. And now we're going to be paying for it for the rest of our lives. Yeah. I don't have a family pet because I have my kids and my husband. And they take up all of our time. But plus, Rich is asthmatic. So it's kind of hard. Anytime we go to visit anybody that has a dog or cat, he can't breathe. So Devin wanted a pet and he went, I'll go to the al allergist and I'll get the scratch test done again. And let's see if anything's changed over the years. And they were like, oh my gosh, you are never, you can never have pets because they hadn't even touched him with dog, cat, like rabbit, iguana. And his arm like swelled right up. So it he took the picture while he was in the doctor's office and said, right, Rick, uh, Dev, they just told me no pets, right? When my son was old enough to drive, he would go to the grocery store for you. Oh, I love that. See, you raise those kids right, Robin. I don't know if my kids will do anything for me because they're spoiled, rotten little beasties. But guess who's the only one who can be blamed for that? I don't know if my friend Patty's out here anymore because um, she might be, you know, shopping for Funko Pops online or falling down some kind of rabbit hole on the interwebs. I don't know if she's still here. 
but uh, that's what I told her today. I said, my children are very spoiled, but the only person I can blame is myself. Thank you, Boo. Oh, guess what I forgot to do. So I'm going to have to, well, I'll pop it open. I forgot to put my stained glass windows on. Let's do that. But I am definitely next week want to go visit my mother-in-law so we can go out for lunch because I was trying to do that this week and then forgot that Devin has exams and then had her driver's exam. So, of course, our time is not our own. Well, my time is never my own, but it'll be good, right? My mom used to send me to the store for her, including buying her cigarettes back in the 80s. True facts, though, right? Like, I think most parents smoked back then. As long as I didn't buy another vehicle, insurance stayed the same. Yes. Um, well, Riley has, we have three cars and whatever we pay, I don't know, Rich takes, like, does that stuff. Um, but, ooh, I need put too much on here. Let's just put it on there and I'll pick it up off there. But, uh, yeah, we don't have enough because she's like, can I get another car? And I'm like, you'll drive one of ours for a bit, Dev. We have nowhere to put them. You can't park on our street. So it makes having too many vehicles uh, really difficult because there's nowhere to park them. So I said, sorry, baby girl, but uh, for a while, this is the way it has to be because um, we just don't have the room in the driveway for a, another vehicle. I'm sure she's like, nice. The boy child got one, but I'm like, uh, it all works out in the end. It's She is not hard done by, that's for sure. See, the purple is moving around. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing because um, this finicky stuff, I hold it close to my body. So, sorry. I will show you what I'm doing in a second. So in a perfect world, I would do the windows. I would let all of my adhesive dry. And then I would assemble them, right, in a perfect world. Because when you start adding moisture to all of this as you're working, then the house loses some st stability until it dries. So it buckles a little bit on you and um, all that jazz when you are putting it together. So just kind of keep that in mind that I'm doing it a little bit backwards. I'm going to cut a piece of this. My paintbrush is in my mouth. Hi, Leanne. How are you, my friend? It was Leanne's birthday not too long ago, too. Leanne owns a store called Paper Lane Studio. And I had the pleasure of meeting her and her husband, Gary, a number of years ago, but now with COVID, I have not seen her in forever. And if you have a chance to check out her story, you want to do it. She is a very delightful human being worth getting to know. She's awesome and a cute, cute little store. And her husband is an awesome guy too. He carries your bags to the car when you go to a crop. And in the winter, he goes out and starts their ladies' cars and cleans all their snow off. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Just great, great, great people. And I miss you, my friend. Miss you both. Hope you're doing well. So there. Now I added my little purple windows to the back of that. So remember, when we put these together, I'm going to make it, after I fix this, because that's no bueno, it's going to be our maybe city hall. City hall in our little village. Yes, when we went, when I went and taught at their store, Gary took care of my mom well, I was teaching. It was super awesome. Just delightful. 
and I even stayed in their house. So, you know, absolutely special people. Very blessed for the people that I've met online and in person through sharing this craft that I absolutely adore. Um, people, unless they do this with us, don't really understand how special crafting is in the community. And it goes way beyond just the making, way beyond all of that, right? So the idea here, see when the roof is here, if we put the roof on, right? And put the house beside it, boop. So what we're gonna do is cut a notch out of the roof so that it will um, sit right flush up against the house. And then I have to cut a roof for this one. But let's see, do I like this one? Or is it this one that should go on it? No, that's not long enough. And is this the longer one, shorter one, or the same? They are the same, so it's going on here. So the idea is that it's going to go on here, and I'm going to notch that piece out. So we can see what the width of our house is, like this, right, friends? And I'm going to draw around it. I just put my arm right into that adhesive. Oh, I miss so many people. I can't even really think about it because it makes me super, super sad right is the time we've lost so i am thankful that we have this because it would be a heck of a lot worse if we did not have the online capability to con to connect so i am going to now sorry because i have to see what i'm doing just kind of trace around my house so I can notch that part out of the roof right notch it out of the roof and see how far the overhang goes and that looks pretty much perfect where I notched it so in a perfect world, because I am a perfectionist, I would normally not cut this with scissors. I would have got my X-Acto knife and steel ruler out. But we will make do with what we have. Just because it's hard to get your scissors in, right? And around the corner. But we can do the things. Right? So now when that goes on the roof... Let's see, is it close enough? Will my little thing fit into it? Almost. I'm gonna cut it a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. And then we will have our city hall. But when I go to get the stuff ready for our church, I have to cut another roof out of the silver for the top of the building, but I can add it on after. Just wanna make sure. Will this go? It's pretty close. I love this. I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm gonna glue this onto the side of the house and then we will um, fit the roof on. So much fun is being had tonight, even though Vicky was a hot mess. And what was planned didn't happen. But we make the best do, right? I think we have no choice some days, just make do. Just show up. Do the best you can do. And thank you so much for sticking around. A lot of you, like there's still a lot of you here. And I thought after how it was going that nobody was going to be here because you're all were going to be like, what a doorknob, man. See you later. I'm out. But you stuck around. You love the double building? Me too, right? I had, this was planned for tonight. I was going to do this one. The rest wasn't planned when my die cuts wouldn't work and all the rest of it. So now, 
I am attaching my building to my building, right? And then the roof will go on here like that. Okay. Very good. And then we need to do another one for the other building. There. Oh, sounds like the boy child is home from his Christmas party already. Well, it makes sense because it is 10 o'clock and Vicky's still here making paper hoses. So it makes sense that he's home because I'm like, why are you home so early? And then it's like, oh, yeah, because you've been making paper hoses for two hours. Uh, tape. Well, I talked. I wasted a lot of your time tonight. <laughs> wasted a lot of your time tonight. This stuff's all stuck on me. Just a second. I wonder if he'll come down and tell us how his night went. Sometimes he does. But you notice the kids don't really make an appearance like they did in COVID days. Probably because... He's loud, I can tell you that. I can hear him all the way down here. I love it though because my kids what are your kids like he will come home and he's taught telling his dad all about it but you have to catch it when they're ready to talk to you you don't try to talk to him when he decides to start a game with his friends because then I get yelled at not really yelled at because they're both good kids but um he'll be like can I talk to you later I'm I'm playing a game and I can't die or I won't get reborn or whatever happens on video games that I don't understand any of it. I, I, I won't come back. And I'm going to put a bead of glue here. Time spent with friends is never wasted. I love it. It wasn't wasted time. You needed to talk <laughs> and we were here to listen to you. Uh, we have many days like yours, but not the same degree. Thank you, Carol. Uh, love watching you create and creating along with you. Love these houses. Can't decide on my favorite color. They're all so pretty. Thanks, Kari. What are you working on? Or are you just hanging out? What are you up to tonight, my friend? And sorry if I missed anybody else's comments. You guys are probably all saying something. I don't think I get enough craft time. What was that? I wanted to see your comment as a child. And that's why I love it so much now. Yeah. Or you love doing it as a child and it's awesome that you're still doing it as an adult. You know, it's a lot of people don't get this and it fills my cup beyond measure for multiple reasons. The crafting fills my cup and I absolutely love it. Crafting with friends in this community is the best gift I've ever been given. That um, how this all just came together for me. And because I was lucky that I had been doing it pre-COVID, Friday Night Live. So it just all kind of fell into place that the community who could catch up with us whenever they could now had a lot more time on their hands, right? not in a good way, but it's true facts is with COVID, a lot of us were home and looking for something to fill our time. And for some people who live by themselves, this was total saving grace, right? Is having this community and crafters and this hobby that you're a part of total saving grace when all the craziness kind of started to happen in the world. So this is where we're at so far. And now I'll put the second roof on. 
I did not put chimneys or anything in this, but because it's city hall, I don't think there'd be a chimney on that building. But now we have this two story. We have our church, which before I go to bed tonight, that's the other thing we're going to make because it, it's not too long. And then I can show you how to do the peaked roof. And we have this two story. And now our building with the side building. And we'll do a church. And then I'll work on some of this other stuff later. Because I still have uh, other pieces to make. I have extra that I built that um, I am going to, I need a blue house. So that one is getting made for sure. And then I have to decide what color roof I want it to go on. Because the other thing I did as I went along is tried to make sure that uh, it was a good mix of roof colors, gold and silver. So when they're beside each other, not everything is the same color. I should have cut my roof a little bit deeper, like in. It's not fitting perfectly, but it's good enough, right? But I love with the um, color in the windows. If you put tiny lights on these, it would be awesome to have the light shine through all these. Really fun. It basically saved my life. Well, I'm really glad that uh, we've been here for you, Irene, because you know we love you and we're very happy that you're part of this community. Um, so I love it. I'm making a birthday card for my mom. I love that, Denise. So nice. Okay. So let me grab my die cut machine. Um, who asked for Jill? Are you still out there? What color church do you want? Cause I'll make it for you, my friend, because you asked to do the church. So tell me what color church you want. You have the choice of purple, orange, teal, red, pink, or yellow, or mint green. I don't know if Jill's still here because look at Vicky is like the energizer bunny going all night long, right? Not to make you cry, but you did take pictures and keep a copy of the test. Yes, I did. A blue church. It's, it's done. This color? Oh, yes, let's do a blue church. I love it, Ada. Sorry, friends, but super thirsty. So I'm going to have to do that too while we're doing this is get another drink because I just finished mine. So this is my sheet of blue. Um, I'm going to do a gold roof on my church, okay, Jill? Because I think blue and gold will be really, really pretty. So here is the blue. So now to do the church... I liked the taller building as the base. Do you want the taller building or do you want, I think so, right? Because that's a church, usually they're narrower and taller. So I'm going to use set number two, but you can use set number one. And I am going to cut the base and the top. And um, I will, oh, do I have a gold roof? I think I had one cut. Let me look. Let me look. If I have the roof, I do not. So I have to cut the roof too, but I do have an, another little window. I'm not sure if that one will fit, but I have a whole bunch of gold roofs. So let's do the things, friends. I have exactly enough space left on to do the top of the, what do you call that at the top? It starts with an S. Here is my church steeple, right? Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Open the door and here are the people. Remember what did we used to do, right? Here's my church. Here's the steeple. Open the door and here's all the people. Oh my goodness. That's like a blast from the past. I can't even believe I remembered that. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Steeple. I can't believe I remembered that too. Bef I, you guys told me, but it even popped in my head before. All right. Set number two. Is this one? It's this one. 
So I'm going to cut that funky roof and the tall building out of blue. We'll finish up with that tonight. And then I'll be back on Sunday with all of my leaves cut. And we're going to start um, for sure doing uh, the building, building of the building. Okay. So we need to cut two house shapes shapes you were just doing that this weekend I love it I love it okay so I'm gonna cut two of the tall ones and then I need two for the steeple and then out of the gold I will need to do the roof so I have that it's the one right with the four sides. And then let's decide what kind of windows we want on our church. I'm going to do the one that has where the side windows just kind of open up. So I'm going to do that. No, I lied because I want stained glass in there. I'm not doing that. So let's do church-like windows. Do I have two of these? There are not two of those. So let me look in the other set because remember what I told you in the other set, what I liked? is that it's one piece for the door and the windows and i find positioning is much easier with that than the individual ones so let me look i'm gonna do this one so i'm gonna do this piece out of set number one for the bottom of my church And you're going to laugh, but move this up because I want to pick something that has lots of pattern on it. Can you guys see that? And then I'm going to put that piece for the bottom. And I'm going to do this kind of window up here this one's a little bit more elaborate church and then we have our steeple and i'm only i'm going to do one round window at the top because we cut part of this off the steeple is we end up cutting the bottom off right so if you're going to put any kind of detail in it make sure it goes near the top because you are going to have to cut in to that to fit it in to your now you could tape it down i'm, I'm just going to test my luck and try to not move anything when I put it down. Actually, though, that's pretty close to the edge, Vicky. I just moved it. I don't, think, I don't think I moved anything though. Okay, let's do it. And then the second cut is way easier because it doesn't have any windows. Mine is not going to have any windows. Yes, the sidekick for these 100%. Remember, Jill, what I said the last time we were doing these that I am 100% buying myself a sidekick. But that is a fun 
space for the church, right? That window's crooked, but whatever, it's good. It's an old church. As the church shifted, some of the things have kind of moved around in it. <laughs> do you like that? It's my story and I'm sticking to it. So now let's just do the second part of the steeple and the other half of the church. Then my gold roof. And make sure I have a roof. Yeah, I have lots of roofs in the gold. Try your Gemini to cut the greenery. Yes, Julie, I will. And there is tons of pressure. Thank you, Julie, for thinking of that. I 100% will try that. And it will, I'm sure, make a difference, the difference that I need. Thank you. I'm going to do that 100%. That's going to be happening. Very smart lady. And I'm going to tell you, I really believe I probably mixed up all my pieces between set one and set two. If I did not do this as videos where people would ask the questions, I wouldn't care at all. Whatever. It wouldn't matter. But the problem is, is that when you do this as a video and then people are like, where'd you get that? Or how'd you use that? I always have to remember the name of everything, what brand it is. But I would in, oops, almost didn't cut my gold roof. Um, in real life, it wouldn't matter, right? I'm crazy, but not um, that crazy all the time. But yes, thank you very much. That is so super helpful. And Julie, I have to ship your order, but I, you have sent me an email. I have to go through emails. Oh my goodness, that's going to be happening this week. Do you have a Gemini and a Vagabond? I do. I have a Gemini. I have a Vagabond. I have uh, the cutting machines from um, We Are Memory Keepers. I have... A cuddle bug, although I got rid of that one, I think. I have a couple of different Sizzix machines. Don't forget that doing this as a job for many years now, I've been at this for many, many moons, that I have all of them, but I'm totally buying myself a sidekick. Totally buying myself the sidekick. Okay, I can sit down again. What color windows do we want? Do you want your church, Jill? What color windows in your crooked church? Because it's old and it's fallen apart. <laughs> Spooky's a ding dong. And it's going to be one of these roofs and we're going to do it. Which electronic do you prefer or different ones for different things? Um, there's a couple different electronic machines, but the uh, Vagabond is retired and Tim said they're coming out with a new electronic Sizzix machine. So it'll probably be super awesome. You're excited to get the other art crayons I was missing. Was that something you had emailed me about or did you put the order in? Because you asked me a question about something you wanted to add to your order, didn't you? Tiny die cut machines are so useful. Yes, Brienne Loveland. How are you, my friend? I didn't think I would use it as much, but totally for titles, right? For die cutting like sentiments and stuff, I'm order I'm gonna actually order that for myself. I'm totally ordering that for myself. Have my original Vagabond from well over six or seven years, windows maybe purple, purple in the blue. Sure. Sure we can do that. Sure we can do that. You know what? And I wish I had a Kleenex down here because I like that idea of using a Kleenex. But let me get up. And look, there's got to be white tissue paper here. There, oh, yes, there has to be because we used it for the gel plate class. Ah, look what I found right behind me. How easy was that? Ta-da! So now they'll be very purple. So let's do that. Let's do purple. Okay, it's not wet. Ooh. 
Very good. So now I have purple. And let's start prepping. So we are going to prep this house and that's how I'm gonna wrap up tonight. We're gonna to build a church for our village. I send you a couple, I think about the order I place. I will go through it. I have a lot of that. I've missed you so much too. Uh, Brian. that's what I was saying. What has made me very, very happy that a lot of our regulars are here, but I have very much missed because life has opened up and people have got busy again that a lot of the people who were with us every Friday and every time we were live, I haven't heard from. And it makes me sad, right? Um, I miss for like, I don't want you guys to ever think I don't, I don't recognize every single one of you that are here and that comment and chat with me. Um, because even though it's a monologue, like I'm, I am talking to you guys. Like I do, I recognize that all of you are here and you don't know how much I appreciate it because, um, you make doing this so much more fun. And I, you know, I love crafting. This isn't something I just do because I have to do. I do it because I love it and to get to do it with people who enjoy it as much as you do is the most special thing like it is the gift right it's the gift hello leanne how are you and i want you so thank you for saying hello because i know a lot of you are out there like really for you look at the number of people that will be watching in a night and there's only um some that chat and a lot don't because you're doing whatever and i i look at i'll take you guys coming and being a part of this in any form that you want to participate if you just want to watch and you aren't into chatting or some of you watch on your tv so you aren't watching on another device where you can type but i just want you to know it does not go unnoticed um i appreciate you guys being here i don't do this um without having a very full heart at the end of all of it right i love it Hi, Vicki. I came here just to hear you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jennifer. You know, it is it is super special. Like, this is such an amazing thing that I get to do and that um, I get to connect with my friends because I do feel like all of you are my friends. Like, somebody will email me and they'll say, I, oh, I'm sorry if I'm bothering you. I'm like, you're never bothering me, man. I love it. It's the best thing ever. What you see here is if you ever meet me in person is pretty much what you get, but you might even get this times 10 when you see me in, in, in real life. I absolutely love what I do. And the best part of it is the friends that I make. Right. And the crafting. I have to say, I do really do love that side of it. Very different province to province. It's really high in BC. What was that question, Evelyn? I don't know if, um, oh, COVID counts. There. Uh, do you know our COVID count today? Someone said we are looking at closing things again in Ontario, hoping they are wrong. I fell on Tuesday and a little cut off from the world. So I rely on people who stop by for info. Uh, yes. And I hope you're feeling okay. That's no good. But yes, the um, COVID numbers are up again. And that's what my friend Patty was saying. She must have been reading something or listening to the news that uh, there is a possibility that we could go on lockdown again uh, during Christmas. Because probably if there's going to be a time, lock it down when people are already off for the holidays, right? So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I I'm curious why they think are people getting lax with their max mask wearing and their gathering. I don't know why the numbers are going up, but it scares me, but I will do whatever I need to do just to keep my loved ones and people who are at higher risk safe. But yeah, I know the numbers have gone up. Hi, Tracy. You're my go-to every Saturday from Oz. I love it. Love it. My friendship and creativity and inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. Um, adding kids to your car insurance. Okay, I understand. 
Uh, wish we were all able to get together. Would love to share this hobby together. I would love to too. My school has three cases so far. Oh my goodness, Laura. Um, now your school, are you a teacher? Are you a student? Um, is it is it going up in the kids? Is that where we're seeing our numbers go up? Again, because I work from home and I, I would say I'm pretty, probably pretty isolated, right? Like I go to the mall, but my interaction is with a mask and I san hand sanitize like crazy. So we haven't done anything. We're going out for supper tomorrow. But um, again, like it's a tiny little restaurant and I feel pretty safe with the spacing. I can't help it. I, I tell everybody like I am COVID traumatized anyway. I'm terrified to do anything teacher and yes i'm in a high school oh my goodness do you think the kids are a little lax because these poor kids are like missing their whole childhood and socialization that uh maybe the gatherings because i know my kids go out you know i can't keep them in the house forever until we're forced to do it but i don't know what the what are the people in the know saying like what is going on I think we're all so tired of it that we probably don't even listen any more to the news. My school has the most cases since the semester began. Finals are next week, so I hope we can make it through. I hope so too. I really hope so for the kids. Like, oh my goodness. I think they're suffering so much. Oh my gosh, my friend said my original vagabond is at least 15 years old and still working wonderfully well. Uh, uh yes jill like i got mine um i don't i think i was on tim holt's design team when it first came out and tim sent me one so it's like probably an original what happened with brianne i missed it yes we have to tell them to wear the masks properly all the time I think they're weary, right? I think that's what the whole thing is. A lot of people are just weary with it all. So go ahead and build your, even though your steeple, we're going to cut most of that off. Just go ahead and build it because we'll cut into it when it's built. Okay. But I'm going to put my windows on. I'll put my purple windows on because now the ink should be somewhat dry. And then I'm going to build the two houses i will put the roof on both of them and then i will show you how to add the steeple it is his third time being quarantined this year luckily we haven't had anything other than cold so many tests oh my goodness i'm sorry bran Ugh. like i said we're weary we are weary 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 but i have friends I have a friend in California who had COVID and fought for her life and lost her dad while she was in ICU. He passed in ICU with her. And I just look at it and go, oh my goodness, it's a lot. It is definitely a lot. Okay, cutting out my purple windows. Like I said, if you have tiny lights, because somebody posted today on the community page, um, the wreath they made and it was stunning and they put, I have to get a drink friends. Just give me one second. Cause I'm going to start to cough. <laughs> it's a lot of talking. So let me grab, I'm going to treat myself to a diet root beer. Okay. Sorry. Oh, 80 degrees. Yeah, that's, but you want crazy. It's going to be so warm here tomorrow. All the snow just melted. And I said to Rich goes, how warm do you think it's going to be tomorrow? I said, I don't know, 15. And he said, it's going to be 17 degrees. I don't think it's going to be 17. I think he was pulling my leg, but. I think it's supposed to be like pretty warm for this time of year. I don't know. Was he lying? Is it going to be seven? And that's Celsius, my friends. So if you're like, that doesn't sound very warm. That's Celsius. 
it's going to be 70 in New Jersey. Is that not, that's crazy. That is so crazy. Root beer is your favorite. Yep. I'm having a diet A and W so fortunate that I could attend my grandson's uh, concert band performance outside in covered area. But is, is it a common thing, Jill, in the U S like the no mask wearing? Like, I don't see that here at all. It's actually, when I see anybody who doesn't have a mask on, it's like absolutely shocking to me. But um, I don't know if it's pretty common, like wherever you are, not just Louisiana, but wherever you are, like, are do people still wear their masks? Is it pretty commonplace? Or where you are, do people really not wear their masks? Um, I don't think that happens here in Ontario because we still have a mask mandate. So, excuse me, um, people have to wear them. We have to do a screening here. When you go to a restaurant, you have to prove that you've been double vaccinated and have to show ID if you want to sit in. Look at, I love the purple, Jill. Great choice. And putting it on the white was really pretty. Like I went, we have a restaurant here called Harvey's and it's just a fast food restaurant and we had to do, show them. And I don't know if it's because there's a, a proper restaurant on the other side, but if we wanted to eat there this week, we had to do all, oops, do all of that stuff, which is just on my phone. But yeah, I'm curious, like, what's it like in Australia? What do we have in New Zealand? Is it the same kind of idea that if you go anywhere, do you have to show proof that you're double vaccinated? Is it not a thing where you are? Purple is nice on the blue. I'm in Arizona. Most people don't wear a mask. Uh, people always wear masks on Vancouver Island. Higher numbers are the under 50 and kids. So less herd immunity um, as we're more isolated. Yeah, I still wear a mask. Yeah in Orange County. And I'm usually the only one wearing a mask. I don't know what will happen. And I, here's my whole thing is like when they're like, oh, we're going to go back. And I'm like, I bet you some places that don't have to do it. It's going to be very hard to get them to do anything now because people are tired, right? They're exhausted, but I don't know. And I'm, just easy because if you tell me I have to do it and it's for a good reason, I just do it. But I understand, I understand where people are coming from, but yeah, here, because it's still law, we have not lightened that up. We wear it, we do it. Well, if you want to go anywhere, you have to. You can't get in anywhere if you can't prove that you're double vaxxed and you have to wear a mask and hand sanitize. Yes, if you're not, you can get takeout, but you can't sit in the restaurant. True. Okay, look, Jill, I look, I dropped it. I couldn't show you at first. And sorry, I have it out of screen, but when it's this finicky stuff, I have to hold it close to my body or I can't do it. So I've got my stained glass windows on my little blue house, church. It's a house right now, but it's going to be a church in a minute. And now I'll build it. You've gotten the booster shot. Yeah, we're going to be due to have it soon. Because I think it has to be six months or something from your second. I don't know how to answer that question, Teresa. Because I don't know what our total numbers are in comparison to places where masks aren't worn. But I think the spread is where people aren't wearing their masks. Like when you have like... Um, they're going to parties or house parties and um, aren't wearing them. 
I don't think that you're finding any cases where we are masked, right? I do really think the mask, you know what I mean, does well. And having worked in dentistry and it's no different, like for me, mask wearing wasn't strange because I I did it for years, right? Anytime that you work in um, healthcare profession, but uh I think the numbers that we're seeing go up are for unvaxxed and for um, contracting somewhere where you've been at a house party or uh, close contact, but I don't know there again. I am not a professional, right? I am not a professional in all of this stuff. I just know that I keep thinking we're getting close to where we're going to move forward and it is not the case. So I would like something magical to happen at this point, just something magical to happen. But I don't know. I know everybody's exhausted, right? So we'll talk about something else. I'm sure like my mom and I will have conversations and I'll be like, Ma, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I am out of shot, but all I'm doing is put my adhesive on and I'm going to build the base of my church. There. I really love the blue, but this too is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Vicki Booten stencils with American Crafts was this circle, layered circle pattern. There is something to be said for the layered circle, repeated circle pattern. So this one will be a, our 11 o'clock <laughs> broadcast. What's on your Christmas wish list this year, Vicki? Do you want funny story? So um, I love Sephora. I love skincare and I love makeup and I love scented candles, but I'm very particular in, I find as I'm getting older, like some scents really bother me. Like Riley had a candle lit in his room and I kept going, what does that smell? Like, where's that? Did somebody spray like something? I couldn't handle the smell. So I decided that I would get the kids um, some good candles that I really like the smell of. So uh, I had bought one from Sephora through Replica and it was called Beach Walk. And I really, I love it. I love, love, love that scent is beautiful. And then I ordered one called bubble bath. Cause I'm like bubble bath. Who doesn't love a bubble bath? Like I figured bubble bath would be a mix between Mr. Bubbles and loves baby soft. That's what I thought the scent would be. Bubble bath would be that scent. So bubble bath arrives and bubble bath is not that scent at all. I don't even know whose bubble bath that scent would be. It was very strong, very, very strong. So it went back. So that long story short, Kari, um, I just told the kids today that I would really love uh, beach walk perfume because I sprayed some on my hand and absolutely loved it. So there's my base. I'm going to put my roof on and then I will show you how to do the steeple I'll build the steeple and how I add it on. Okay. Loves baby soft, right? It's such a pink soft scent. I love that one. And fresh rain. If anybody remembers when the green one came out, that was called fresh rain. So I thought bubble bath would be a mix of that and Mr. Bubbles. Cause I loved Mr. Bubbles and it was not. So needless to say, it went right back. Cause I'm like, no one is build burning this candle in my house. Cause it smells, <laughs> it's not my scent. Right. So yes. So I put that on my list. Um, I would love beach walk. Oh, friends. I ordered myself something that I'm totally wrapping to put under the Christmas tree because I really wanted this. And then I, if you've been listening, I love 
uh, Selling Sunset. I've been watching that show and I feel like they're my friends and I've been yelling at the TV and Rich comes in and goes, who are you yelling at? I'm like, I'm yelling at Christine. I'm yell yelling at Davina. They're not being nice and kindness first. So um, one of the characters, well, not characters because it's, it's, um, they're real people, um, was wearing a pair of earrings that I absolutely love. And I had seen them before. There is a store online. And do one of you guys know this? Wolf, is it Wolf and Badger? You'll have to Google search somebody who has access to do that. I don't know. It is an ex it's a pricey clothing store, but they have a pair of earrings that keep showing up in ads on social media for me. And it looks like a pair of hoops with paint dripping off of them. Like it looks like paint is dripping off of them. I think, right? Is that what it's called? Wolf and Badger? So I ordered myself... <laughs> Cause I like, I can't, this stuff is too hard and obscure. Nobody's going to order it for me. So I ordered myself these dripping gold earrings. It looks like paint is dripping They're hoops and the paint looks like it's dripping off of them. So I ordered those and I'm totally putting them under. Cause now I feel guilty that I ordered myself these earrings. Uh, so they're going under the Christmas tree from Santa and I'm going to open them and go, Oh my goodness, where did these come from? And all of you guys will know exactly where they came from. They came from Vicky ordering them for herself. So that is my other thing on my list. And then I asked for a couple of, um, of uh, the toys, whatever they're called now. I just forgot the pop, whatever things. I want Danny Zuko and um, Sandy. Olskin, whatever her name is, right? You'll have to look the earrings up now, right? I'm sensitive to everything. Makeup, lipstick, nail polish, can't wear any of it. Yeah, that's really tough. But I find the older I'm getting, all of those sensitivities are changing. Um, oh my goodness, I love it. And do you see how the roof is a little bit longer, which I think is perfect for a church? So now let's finish the steeple and then we'll add it. And I have to tell you, Jill... Great choice. I am loving. This is one of my favorites that I've made so far. That purple and the blue. And I'm glad I found the white tissue paper. It makes a world of a difference, right? Excuse me. And let's do the steeple. Has anybody found the dripping earrings yet? I think if you Google search gold dripping hoops, hoop earrings it'll probably pop up and i think it's called wolf and badger it's wolf and something valerie hello my friend i've missed you so much you have your 15 month old granddaughter and finally had a minute to sign in how exciting now does this grandchild live around you like i don't know is any of your family here val but that is so exciting, Grandma. Uh, but I have missed you. That's what I was saying earlier, is I have missed a lot of the regulars that now life is busy and we're doing a lot of things, right? Wolf and Badger, did you see them, Kari? Did you see my crazy gold dripping earrings that I ordered for myself? You will see me wear them after Christmas on one of our lives. I will have my wolf and badger gold earrings on. But once I saw them on my favorite show on my favorite character on Selling Sunset, I'm like, see, now me and Chriselle need to have the wolf and badger gold dripping earrings. I think Chriselle had them on in season four. <laughs> oh, they're on Etsy as well. They're gorgeous. They have rose gold too. Yeah, I saw that. Bought the gold ones though, because I really love them. And it's something I've been looking at for a year. And I put for my kids a couple Pandora charms because my mother-in-law is awesome. And she bought me a Pandora bracelet last year and I have never had one. So she bought me a Pandora bracelet. So I asked for some charms to add to that. What do you guys, what have you asked for? What are you hoping that is under the tree? 
I am excited to do our giveaways next week so that I can send a Vicki Booten gift out to 10 lucky winners. So if you weren't here next week, I'm doing a giveaway, a whole week of giveaways. You'll have to make sure that you check on my Instagram and on my Facebook because there will be giveaways all over. Question, Vicki, have you watched Arcane? No. What is this and what's it about? I asked for a Seinfeld Lego set. I love that. Wolf and Badger uh, Googled gold dripping hoops. Cute. I'm very excited. Yeah, I ordered those. I have not watched Arcane. Now I need to know what that's about. I've missed you and all. So glad to be able to say hi. These houses are adorable. Thank you. Under the tree. You want Tim Holtz under the tree? <laughs> I think that's quite the trip for him, Christine, all the way from Arizona. There's a mink under our tree. I love it. You will love it. A beautiful Starbucks mug. I love that. I just want my kids here. I'm decluttering and don't need anything. True facts, right? That will be awesome. Um, do you want to know one of the things that I did? I got an email for, uh, so look how cute. So I got an email for a candy website here in Canada. So today the box arrived and I ordered a whole bunch of candy that is from England, like UK and all over. And I ordered a new board game or some kind of card game, some kind of family game. And we are going to do a charcuterie night where I'm going to do a charcuterie candy board and a traditional charcuterie. And um, then we are going to play games. And I'm super excited because uh, the candy one is going to be fun. Like I ordered, they had a peach ginger ale and like a whole bunch of like uh, pineapple, Fanta, so we are going to have a night where um, I cut up and put all the little candies and chocolates and we're going to have a candy charcuterie night. Got my mini and hope in future you do lessons on foiling on die cuts. For sure, Jill. For sure. Yep. Um, I love my mink. Like I'll be using that forever. I absolutely love it. I believe in dreaming big. Don't think it is warm enough for Tim. <laughs> Guess I'll have to have some of his dies and stamps. Yes, you can have a version of Tim underneath your tree. Wouldn't that be exciting? That'd be a great prize to win. But I don't know if Tim does a lot of traveling um, since some of his health issues. Poor guy until COVID clears up like he can't go to his favorite place in the world, Disney either, right? So I have made the top of my church piece, top of the steeple. So I'm just pressing that. Vicki, where do you buy your Funkos? Uh, all over Tamara. Um, there are, I have gone, I search for the ones I want and then I will search it in Canada. I'm very excited, though. Do you want to know what one set I got? I love Schitt's Creek. I love that show. Love it. And um, I didn't start collecting Funkos until, like, literally five minutes ago. So uh, Schitt's Creek was all sold out. So I could get Moira, and I just forgot the dad's name. I just totally forgot Moira. And so I could get those, but I couldn't get David and Alexa. So I found them on eBay and they were delivered to my U.S. address. So I'm super excited for that. Your holiday plan, plan sounds perfect, Vicki. I am getting a new bathtub for Christmas. Long story. But it, is it a beautiful one, Valerie, at least? Did you get to pick one of those um, beautiful uh, soaker tubs now with jets? I watched Shit's Creek because of you and loved it. Did you, Julie... And, you know, when you first start watching it, you might be like, this is not good. What is Vicky talking about? But you have to, I don't know. I love them. I think it's a super endearing show. Now we need a mini train for our houses. I love it. And a gazebo. Yeah. Robin and I went to a Tim Holtz class in Florida a few years ago. It was awesome. He's an awesome human being. I love Tim. 
Um, but as you know, when the kid wants to share something, he wants mom just listen. Ah, oh, that's a nice. I'm watching it again now. Yes, I've watched it twice. I find a lot of retired uh, Funkos on Amazon. I love it. You love it too, Irene? Oh my goodness, I love Schitt's Creek. I love it, right? Hello, Patty. Um, you have to watch half a season of, you ha You have to watch it to, to understand and then you love it, right? So yes, I have all four. And hello, Patty, welcome back. I was talking about you and you must not have been here. Um, you have to watch it and you, I love it. I don't know. I, and I don't even feel bad for, if people don't love that show. I'm okay. We can still be friends, but I am a super fan. So I'm going to put it on and see, like, look at, it. it's like a little castle turret, turret, not turret. <laughs> That's almost like stinker claws turret. Uh, and I'm just going to put that on, but the gold, this one looks perfect looks iced very nice right um no jets but a nice deep soaking tub to replace the one that's leaking they are expensive and i was a bit shocked and that is without jets yes they are pricey i said oh i was saying something and mentioned you patty and then i said i'm not sure if she's here she might be shopping for funko pops <laughs> Or she has fallen down an internet uh, rabbit hole. Had you, Patty? What were you doing? Because you weren't here talking to me. I will text Patty and she won't answer immediately. And I will start yelling, Patty, where are you? I want to talk to you. You must respond immediately. <laughs> I cried when the creek ended. Loved it so much. 100%. I'm, I'm still miss them. And I'm still very sad that it is not on anymore. Oh my goodness. Freaking love it. David. Yeah, very good show. And I feel like um, David is my best friend. You know what I mean? Like I feel like we are friends. But I get like that with shows. I will never forget early days. Does anybody? Well, my Canadian friends will know Stephen Sabados. And he was on City TV with Marilyn Dennis. And I remember going to Toronto to Ikea and Stephen Sabados walked past me and I was smiling at him like he should recognize me because he's my best friend from TV. <laughs> and then realized, oh, Vicky, you can see him, but he can't actually see you through the TV. So absolutely hilarious. I was looking at him and he just smiled, but he must get it all the time and thought it was like a total freaking weirdo. Like, what is that weirdo lady doing? Why is she smiling at me? Like we've known each other for 20 years and then realize, oh yeah, I can see him. He does not see me through the TV. Ding dong. I love Steven Sabados. Yeah. So and I was very excited to see him because I loved his home decor with Marilyn. And then I was so excited that he was at Ikea and I'm smiling at him because I'm everybody's best friend, but he doesn't know it yet. Steven doesn't know that we're best friends and neither does David on Schitt's Creek. Oh, Santa Clarita diet. <gasps> Barbara, and I was so mad when that one just got canceled too. I love that. And then there was, there's a couple that I absolutely love on Netflix that they didn't renew. And I am very bitter about, I wish I had some, um, I have to put some glue on this. It's not sticking very well. Some say in what TV shows get, uh, renewed. Yes. Atypical was a favorite. I love, uh, Santa Clarita diet. I love those two, um, uh, Drew Barrymore and whoever plays her husband, I forget his name. So good. So mad. Did you just start watching it, Barbara? Did I just ruin your life? Yeah. I watched that right when it came out, but I love anything that's like that kind of show. Anything that is zombie, vampire, but it's funny. So if you're like, oh, I don't like that. It's uh, funny. It's not like scary zombie. Zombie. That is how I feel if I ever ran into you in Ikea, except I would have to tell you uh, who I am. And I would love it, Stacy, and we would go for lunch. 
Yellowstone is the best show ever. I haven't started it yet. You know, we just started Mar of Eastwick. And now, but Rich, like I'm a binge watcher. When we start a new show, I want to watch it till it's done because I need to know what happens. And Rich is not. We have to watch one episode and then he makes us go to sleep. And I'm like, but dad, I want to watch one more. Uh, we need a dislike button when they cancel stuff. We don't want canceled. 100% Julie. Like, I'm like, who made that choice? That show was good. And if you're going to do that, we should at least get one episode that wraps up a series. Because I don't think you should be allowed to cancel something and not wrap up the storyline. I'm addicted to Yellowstone. I'm going to, I'll start that because you guys have said that. You keep telling me. Have you watched all of Selling Sunset? I have, Tamara. And I yell at people on the TV. And I'm very disappointed in season four with Christine. Because she is definitely um, one of the uh, not nice girls. But I think she could redeem herself. And I'm mad that she's not doing it. If we were friends or I live there, I would have a chat with her and say, you need to clean up your act. Because you don't have to be um, nice all the time, but you need to own your crap. So that's how I feel about that show. But even Rich talks to the characters. <laughs> I love it. So yes, we love it. Watch the marathon over Thanksgiving. So many people. Uh, what, 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 what marathon did you watch, Rhonda? talking of oh Yellowstone I need to do that so you're telling me Yellowstone I need to watch that so we'll add that to our list um Heartland yeah that's been around for a long time good Canadian show um you know the other one that was really mad is I love Anna Green Gable and the remake or the the reboot they did of Anne was if you have not watched it you guys need to watch that it is the most beautifully filmed that actress was so good and they freaking canceled it. And I'm still bitter about that. So good. Outlander's your favorite? Yeah. Okay. So I put some glue on the steeple. It's a little crooky, but we'll take it. So now you decide how tall you want your steeple. Like how high do you want it to go? So this one I'm going to make a little bit taller. So let's say it's going to go right here. Okay. That's where I'm going to decide my steeple is. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to place my building on top and I'll take my pencil and I draw my outlines. My head's going to come in the shot. I'm sorry, friends, but I need to be able to see and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm going to center that right here. And then I'm going to trace it, with my pencil. Okay, can you see that pencil line? So I will cut up into this and then cut the V. Okay, so just cut that out. It's tricky. Probably open it a bit if you wanted to, but whatever. I will just get my little scissors in there. There we go. And cut. Okay. And don't forget, I think I'm going to put some snow on my building. So anywhere, oops, look it, I knocked my roof off. But it's good. Okay, and I'll come up, cut it from this side. Okay. And then I will cut like this on the side 
knocking my roof off. You should probably let the roof completely dry before you do this part, okay? I can make a mess, but when you guys do yours, make sure your roof is totally adhered before you start fiddling around with it because it makes it hard to manage. So I will cut it on this side. And then what are you going to do? You're going to trace again on the back, right? You know that where your side pieces here and here, your roof will line up with that. And I will trace from there too. There. And I'm going to cut that part out as well. So has anybody watched Mar of Eastwick? That is our new show. How we doing? Question. Is that the way you did your two-story house? Yes, I did. Yeah. Like I said, it's tricky to get your scissors in. And there's probably a way you could leave it all open and trace and it would be easier. But I guess I don't do anything the easy way. Now I'll cut this side. And let's see, like I said, I have to fiddle with it a little bit sometimes too. Oh, that's why that's not fitting. I jammed it in. Okay, let's see how good it is. Did I do a good job? It's not bad. The adjustment I have to make, see, and then you just glue it on, will be just this little piece here. That is the double part. I'm going to push inside. So it will fit better. And fix. And then I just put glue on it and I glue it down. And that will be my church with the taller steeple. This actually worked out better than the first one I did. Coming in really late and I'm still here, Betty. Started at 8. But I said tonight would be about 11 by the time I was done. And then I'm going to be back on Sunday. Because I would have just, if I would have just said, okay, let's call it a night. I would have just been making these on my own anyway. So it was a nice opportunity for us to chat and catch up. For some of you guys that are looking for meat and potatoes, this live would not be for you. Right? This live wouldn't have been for you. So now I'm going to center it on the roof and then you really have to glue it and leave it alone. Let it dry, right? Glue it and then just leave it be so it can set up. I will clean the little bit of extra glue off with my little poker or my finger. And then I'll let it dry. So what I will share first thing on Sunday is um, all the hoses that I made and whatever um, ones I'm going to use. Because the extra ones, I'm just going to make something else with them. That's what I decided. I can make ornaments. Whatever you want to do. Okay. And then just make sure as you're pressing that it is level. So I think this is magical with the gold roof and the little purple windows. Love that. Great choice. Great choice, Jill. Okay. 
I am going to flip the camera around and say good evening. I am going to, I have to finish the roof for this one. Oh, the other thing you could add, which I think is pretty for the church is if you want to, I will add and I will, cause I think that will finish it off. I will put that little piece on there. Okay. So I will finish that with that little piece over the door. And like I said, if you just checked in, there's lots going on this week. So make sure you check it from the beginning and I will put a post. I will be back on on Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time and then we'll talk about the rest from there. But let me go here. Hi, friends. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I love it. Look at we made a little church. We made um, this one is going to be fun when it's done. I will finish it. I got to put the roof on that side, but I love it. We made our kind of Asian inspired two story. I love it. So fun, right? Open the door and here's all the people. I love it. So, so much fun. Um, thank you. Like I said, tonight did not go as originally planned. We were going to be doing the leaves, but I'm going to try it on my Gemini. I love that idea. And I will be ready on um, Sunday to come back and assemble uh, the wreath part. So I feel like a good chunk will get done on Sunday and the finishing touches on Tuesday. And uh, so much fun. So thank you so much. A lot of you stuck around for this was a lot of hours. <laughs> we started at eight. So thanks so much. Um, like always, uh, you guys fill my cup. And I thoroughly enjoyed uh, this evening. You turned around what was starting out as a, a, a terrible, rotten, stinky evening into an awesome evening by the end. So thanks so much. I'll see you on Sunday if you can make it or watch the replay. And then we will wrap the wreath up on Tuesday. Next Friday for Friday Night Live, we're going to do some prep work. And then on Sunday is a free bonus class using Warm Wishes and Tim Holtz Christmas line. So um, all his Christmas stuff. So it's going to be so much fun. So have a great night, a great day, whatever time it is in your world. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks so much. Uh, have a great weekend. And I hope you get some of your Christmas shopping done and wrapped and all of those things. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you. And there we go.